Hi, I'm Danielle Maidis at Cary Medical Florida. I wanted to talk to you about a couple interesting cases that I've seen this week on plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis, you know, most of us know is like pain on the bottom of the foot, on your heel, worse usually first thing in the morning or if you're getting up after sitting for a while. And it happens when you get injury to the actual plantar fascia. How I look at these in the office, oftentimes I use musculoskeletal ultrasound to look at the affected foot and then the non-affected foot and I compare the two, right? Most people don't have plantar fasciitis on both feet. They usually have one symptomatic one and then one that is, you know, feels normal. So I like to compare. In our first patient, um, who is a male in his 40s, this is a, a picture of his symptomatic foot, okay? So here's the heel, that bright white line is bone, and then here's that plantar fascia as it's traveling up towards the toes up there. We should expect this to be kind of like a brighter white, more like kind of white striations as I say, and then we measure it, okay? So on this one, it's about 0.54 centimeters. What does the other side look like? Let's compare. Here's the other side. You can see how much thinner it is. We're measuring at about 0.33 centimeters. Why that's important is because the longer a soft tissue has degenerated, it oftentimes will get thicker and we can actually see that on ultrasound. So when these people that have failed all other conservative treatments, that's usually what I see is that the affected side is much thicker than the non-affected side. You can see how this one's thicker. You've got a lot more what we call hypoechoic, anechoic, really just dark gray black areas on ultrasound where basically like essentially cells are dying. You're losing um, cellular health there and then it's getting really thick um, and swollen. Funny enough, same week I had a woman actually, I think in her 50s, came in with the same thing, plantar fasciitis on one side. So again, I measure it. Her affected side is about half a centimeter there, thicker, kind of more, like I said, like this kind of anechoic, hypoechoic, black, dark gray areas. And then on her healthy side, you can see it's much more white and then about 0.38 centimeters. That's actually one of the things that I really like about ultrasound is that it's very easy to compare one side to the other. So if you have two of something and only one is symptomatic or they're both symptomatic but one is way worse, it's very easy to compare to what the other one looks like or what we could assume is that patient's normal.